Hi. As you know, normal computers work with bits. Each bit can be zero or one. But quantum computers work with qubits. Qubits can represent numerous possible combinations of zero and one at the same time. Only when a qubit get measured becomes a definite state of zero or one. For example, four classical bits can make 16 different combinations, but one combination at a time. Four qubits can be in the 16 different combinations at the same time. Because of this, quantum computers are so much faster than normal supercomputers. As an example, a group at USTC claim that a classical supercomputer would require a computational time of 600 million years to generate the number of samples their quantum processor can generate in 20 seconds. Other interesting thing about qubits is entanglement. If two qubits are entangled, that means changing the state of one of the qubits will instantaneously change the state of the other one in a predictable way. This happens even if they are separated by very long distances. Some companies are working on this technology. For example, IBM has made a quantum computer with 127 qubits. Fortunately, IBM offers cloud access to their quantum computers. In this project, I'm using a tool named Qiskit to access IBM's quantum computer. Qiskit is an open source software development kit for working with quantum computers. First, you should create an IBM ID account. After that, you can see a API token in your account. We need that token for accessing the quantum computer. In this project, I'm using PyCharm for writing Python code. In PyCharm, First, we should install some packages like Qiskit, PySerial, URLlib3 version 1.23. Okay, now we should import Qiskit and uh, Serial. After that, paste your token from IBM's website here. You can run this line just once and comment it after that, because it saves the token in your computer. Now I'm creating a register with one qubit, and measuring that qubit, and sending the value of it to the Arduino. There is a RGB LED connected to the Arduino. If value of qubit is zero, LED lights up with a red color. And if qubit is one, LED lights up with blue color. Okay, let's run the code. Because other people also using this quantum computer, running the code may take a couple of seconds or even minutes. As you can see, value of qubit was zero. Let's run it again. This 
time value of qubit was 1. Purpose of this project was showing you how to connect your Arduino to a quantum computer. Now you can make so many cool projects with this concept. Even with this piece of code, you can create entanglement between two qubits. To learn more about what you can do with quantum computer, check out the Qiskit channel. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more projects like this.